Hello everyone. In the first video, we have created a simple network with router and end devices. There we connected them with the help of the conductor and we configured them directly. But today we will configure them with the help of CLI. So here first we just enable the router and then after the hash sign was here, we can write configure terminal. You can write it in the short form too like this. Con C O N F then T. And here after this we will enter into the config router config and after that we will give interface fast ethernet 00 and then we will add IP address and the mask after that no shutdown by writing the no shutdown we giving command to actually turn the state from down to up of that root or of that uh, fast ethernet port and after that we will go to configuration part again there another part so first we need to exit and then we need to write interface first ethernet you can write the full form too 01 so here the ip address will be like this 192.168.11.1 and then mask will be same it's the c class ip address so we are giving everything manually here by writing the comment and after this no shutdown okay i need to write it together and after this we will just press enter and after that we will enable the secret class here after enabling the secret class we will give password for our lines and here first the line console 0 we will set the password Cisco and after that we will log in and then exit and then after this we will write line VTY virtual teletype 0 to 4 that means that 5 port and for all this port the password will be Cisco then login and exit now we have set the password here now if we delete this and if we try to open this again and let's say we want to change the password um, change the IP address we need to actually give the password to it for that but you will see that there will be a complication because we have created a secret class let's just save this first and let's see this again okay let me just delay okay let me just close this and open it again and here now if we actually go to our router again go to CLI and let's press enter now if we press enter they are actually asking for the password here so we need to give the password that we set that was Cisco. I'm actually typing the password, but uh, it is not actually shown in the screen. If we enter, they are actually asking for the password again. The red class. Now you see that after pressing the enter, they are actually taking us in the router. But if we want to enable it, we cannot actually enable this time. If we write enable, we will not see that uh, hash sign. They are actually asking for the password again, but we have already given the password. So this is the problem with secret class. So we will not use the secret class if we want to actually change the change any of the configuration that we actually did. But if we want to keep uh, the network like that so that other others cannot actually change the IP address or any other thing in this network, then we can actually use this secret class. So now I'm just showing this without the secret class. I will just set the password normally. So I just deleted the previous configured router and I take I actually took another router and here let's just configure it again so I'm enabling the router then I can see the hash sign now we need to write configure terminal then inside the config interface first ethernet 00 here I will give the IP address again then I will actually turn that on by writing no shutdown 
and after this I will write exit and again interface pass return at 0 1 then IP address and mask and then I will turn it on again Then I will just go to directly line con 0. I have not created any secret class. I will just give the password Cisco directly. And then all the other thing will be same. Login and exit. And then we will do it for the line VTY 0 to 4. And then password Cisco. Then login and exit. Okay, done. Now if we actually save this and open it again okay now if we actually press enter they will ask for password and if I give the password and press enter again they are actually taking us to the router we actually did that in the previous version too but whenever we wrote enable they actually asked for the password again so this time they are not asking for the password they actually took us directly to the hash sign and after that we can actually configure the port we want to if we want to change the IP address now we can actually do this we just need to write the configure terminal again and then IP address or sorry interface first ethernet and then IP address but I will not change it if we actually want to change it we can actually change this letter whenever we will give the password 